We're on um, a little set. Well, I say set. It's the office at work, and um, I'm just playing a little bit with some light painting and with um, some things by Drinks by the Dram. Uh, they're individual drams made uh, to slot into an advent calendar. Let me show you one of them. Let's have a look. There we go. So they're this sort of thing. Let me have a look. There we go. And um, what would uh, I get? Kind of one every year. Um, I, um, kind of bought one for myself uh, this year because it's good fun to do and it's kind of challenging it's nice to do um, something every day or at least try to do something every day um, <clears throat> and all I'm doing is uh, trying to do something different with the dram um, this time round uh, I'm aware that there is a big Star Wars movie coming out which I will be seeing uh, on Thursday and uh, look very much looking forward to that but I'm also looking forward to um, uh, doing something a little bit different uh, with the dram and on that Star Wars theme um, I wanted to go along um, and sort of recreate a scene with that uh, I got in contact with uh, some of my friends who have either got kids or are Star Wars sort of fanatics or Lego fanatics and they um, were very kind to supply me with, uh, or at least Carl was, very kind to supply me with a mixture of small figures. So um, I'll spin the camera around now, you better have a look um, as to what I'm doing. Uh, check me out on Periscope as well because I've been putting a lot of the um, uh, behind the scenes stuff on Periscope. So if you have a look on there, follow me and then you'll be able to catch some more of this stuff. So uh, I'll spin the camera around. You can have a look. Okay guys, so here we have the set uh, and it's just on my um, uh, little uh, cupboard I guess um, little, um, and it just holds all my sort of photographic kit or um, you know bits and bobs um, all the paraphernalia but uh, on top of it is a black velvet sheet or cloth um, and that's to minimize the light spill it's very good uh, at uh, doing that and if you want to shoot a few products and things uh, it's quite clever at just you know looking like a black big black velvet uh, or a big black background so anyway enough of that um, just to give you an idea as to what's going on um, we have our props which um, you know can be little um, you know Luke Skywalker's or uh, Chewbacca's there there he is good old Chewy um, and then um, I've recreated or tried to recreate sort of Emperor's um, you know, battle destroyer or at least a scene from that where um, um, Darth Vader and uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi have their big old fight um, and um, Obi-Wan is uh, a little worse for wear should we say. No spoilers. But there he is. He um, he is gone where the force uh, goes when you uh, obviously die. So um, so this is the scene. Uh, cameras here. You can get an idea if I come in close as to what we're looking at. I don't know whether you can actually see that particularly well through the eyepiece. Um, there we are. So um, hopefully it looks like uh, the scene from that particular film clip uh, using an iPad just butted up against a bit of block of wood uh, the iPad has um, a few different scenes that uh, or different backgrounds that I could use um, and but I think I think uh, the, the one I wanted to use was the um, uh, just the plain background uh, so it's not it, it just looks quite of um, uh, nice and sort of sci-fi uh, we have the um, Emperor uh, in the background, uh, the Dark Lord Sith, ooh, nasty old boy. And then, um, and so the lighting goes along the lines of this. I've got a little LED light, which is just there for um, uh, for me to set up really. And the one on the side here, um, I've been sort of flagging uh, to just give a little rim to Darth Vader, because obviously he's quite dark and he's on a, he's on a dark back, um, in a, a uh, 
the dark grounding as well, it's like a black um, perspex. And in order to elongate the set, because um, it needs to look like it's part of the um, set, if I come down to this sort of level, you can see the reflection. So we've got the iPad in the background, and that's um, giving our background set. And I needed to stretch that out so it got underneath these characters. So we've got a little bit of silver uh, paper. All right, that's easy enough. And then um, you can see immediately behind it, actually, the um, this little torch. It's a little LED torch, and it's just got a little red um, fill, uh, little piece of gel on there. And that's just to give it a little up light, a little uh, red up light. If I just turn that on, I don't know whether you can see that, but when it's dark, let's just kill this light for a second, you can see it just prov provides a little bit of green, um, red up light. Um, so that's that, and that's being hidden by the drum. When I come round behind this, you can see that it just disappears. And so it's, it's hidden within the set, but it's giving me light. The other thing I'm using is a little torch, a little mag light, and um, we're just painting in some of the um, uh, some of the details. If I show you the um, and the other torch that I'm using currently is one of these things. Oh, I've just got this from Aldi. It's quite a bright torch. But all I'm doing is once the shutter's open, and it will be open for about 20 to 30 seconds, I'm going around each of the objects and painting them like this, just to give them a bit of shape. And that will burn in, um, that will burn in the, the uh, detail and it will expose the object that the light's under for as long as I like um, and I'll probably do something like that with those as well so uh, that just gives you a little bit of background as to what's been going on okay I hope you've enjoyed uh, looking at the set uh, I've certainly enjoyed uh, playing around with it it's been good fun um, if you want to go and check out my other um, I, other social feeds Twitter Facebook YouTube um, they're all there uh, and uh, Periscope as well I'm doing a bit on Periscope these days just some behind the scenes stuff um, so yeah lots of hints and tips on there go and check follow link like whatever you have to do you know you get the idea anyway so uh, catch up with you soon and thanks for tuning in once again cheers <laughs>